doing fine Walk out on a yoke, me only game one time No, every time I see me game, the kitty pot wine And I dust yesterday, that girl a bad long time He said to all you look good, you make me off a ball out It look like you're born a gold spoon and I am out I told them look say shit if you not know what she about What's up you guys? So it's your girl Ashley here again with another video and today we're going to be doing a talk through get ready with me. I'm going to be talking through it. You could sit down, you could listen, you could chill with me, you could agree with what I'm talking about or you could not. But in this video I'm going to be expressing my opinions on what I see is going on in mainstream media and you can agree with it, you could disagree with it. If you don't agree Drop it down in the comments, but still keep it cute, keep it sweet, and we're going to keep it pushing, okay? So, um, also today, I'm going to be featuring these 25mm lashes that I'm noticing a lot of the people are wearing on Instagram, and I'm going to try it out. We'll be doing some eyeshadow and all that stuff today, so let's get it started. So, yes, I laid down my wig whatever so that's why you see this paper on here i'm gonna do my brows first as usual you guys already know that so i'm gonna be using this absolute new york super slim brow pencil and this is in the color smoke we're gonna talk about this surviving cardi b hashtag that's been going around i'm gonna just put it like this i am not a stan of cardi b um i never was from Jump Street from the time even before she was on um, Love and Hip Hop or whatever I used to always see her video on my feed because some of the men that I followed they used to stand her in a way and when I say stand her I'm saying the things that she used to talk about you know the raunchy stuff that she used to speak on they oftentimes used to say that oh they they love her. They love the fact that she is the way that she is because she's a real ass bitch or whatever. This and the third. And I never quite understood it. I really didn't understand it at all. But you know, a lot of the times people get passes. They get more passes than others based off of their complexion, based off of their their race, their culture, anything that is not black, right? Um, I'm going to just keep it on it. So back then I couldn't really put my finger on it, but now that's just my reasoning for it all. Like anything that is just anti-black um, woman or anti-black period or anti-dark skin, it gets a pass. So with that being said, going back to that surviving Cardi B hashtag, I never was a fan of hers so now this whole thing is happening you know in regards of her confessing that she actually used to drug men and <laughs> to help her with her rap career that she has right now okay listen double standards are double standards they're here it's real it's true and um Sis literally confessed to doing a whole full-on crime, and y'all are giving her a pass for it. Like I said in some of the comments in some other YouTubers' videos, like Eloho or whatever, shout out to Eloho, love her. At the end of the day, somebody paying money to solicit sex, okay, it could be a, a crime, whatever it is that y'all saying, it's a crime, blah, 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 this and third. All right, but in doing that business transaction, you're not going into that business transaction thinking that you're going for sex, but in return, you're being drugged and robbed. Like a crime is being committed on you. You're not going into the situation with that. Two, if this was the other way around where our male counterparts was doing that to one of our, our good sisters, you know what I'm saying? Y'all would not be flying with that point blank in the period y'all be on some oh no that is wrong regardless if they just said that they just date rape them date rape them and rob them for their debit card or something like that y'all be dragging these men 
who whatever man man it was that did the the heinous act y'all would be dragging them y'all wouldn't be on some oh he robbed he robbed her to drop his fire mixtape y'all would not be saying no no making no excuses for it so why is she the exception why is she the fucking exception sorry not sorry that's trash behavior you you acting like a freaking dirty little rat by doing something like that and then on top of it she confessed herself she confessed about it and y'all still oh y'all still using this whole oh she's so real no being ignorant does not mean that you're you're real like that that is that's a criminal act and she should be freaking she should be taken out for it period i don't understand i really want to know what is in the water like what is it why y'all allow her to get away with all of these things and then now all right we're talking about this whole situation with her doing that rick ross had the same deal with reebok um a couple years ago and he came out with the song you don't even know it he put he like he said in his lyrics i'll probably leave them on the side right here if i remember to do it i put molly all up in her drink she ain't even know it i took her home and enjoyed that she ain't even know it Reebok said, <laughs> what you say now? What you did? $700,000. That's $300,000 shy of a million for that Reebok deal. They said, thank you. You're not, you, we're, you we don't align ourselves with, the, with that. So you cannot be a brand ambassador for our company. And they quick, fast took that brand deal away from him. She is now affiliated with Reebok. She now has a brand deal with Reebok. Reebok did not take away. They didn't take away her brand deal. She doing commercials right now with our leg like, cock up in the year. And, I ha and she's having a grand old time. This is the issue. How do you guys freaking penalize one person but you don't penalize the other? for heinous acts and one is a song lyrics and the other person confessed so what's up i don't get it what is it about her that is allowing her to get a pass for doing these things i don't care if it was three years ago i don't care if it was last week you literally drugged someone you don't know what type of adversions this person could have had if they were allergic to the type of drug that you you um drugged them with you don't know if there was any allergies you don't know any of that but you just did it and then you're gonna say oh yeah i had to do it because i needed studio time and then onlookers like us or the youth or whoever is sitting there saying oh well she real she had to do what she had to do heard you and then i'm not even gonna od take up for rick ross right now because you should have just sat down there and ate your wing stop your lemon pepper wings that's what you should have did because now you have the nerve to sit your ass down on these Instagram streets and tell us to forgive her for doing that. You got your brand deal taken away from you. She didn't get hers taken away. And you want to sit down there and tell us, oh, no, forgive her. You know, it's not even that big of a deal. It's okay. Like, you know, everybody has a past. Yes, you're right. Everybody does have a past. But we all not out here drugging people to get money. We all not out here sleeping with people for money to get into the studio to do this, da 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 We're not doing that. We're not violating people. But you want us to excuse her, though. Oh, my God! Wow! <laughs> like, all right. That's cute. That is so cute. You know, that's so cute. And this is why, when it comes to stuff like that, when things do happen to men... In situation this is another reason why they don't want to come forward because you are a man granted you were the abuser in your situation but if roles is switched and when men do come forward it's because of stuff like that like your masculinity is so overpowering overbearing like you can't even see what's wrong and then you want to be so far up this chick that's not even black as you come into her defense when she's blatantly doing something wrong violating somebody and you tell us, oh, we need to forgive her. That's cute. That's mad cute. 
But anyway, we're going to move on. And since we want, we on the topic of her, we're going to move into the topic of hip-hop and how <sighs> hip-hop culture is literally being infiltrated right in front of our eyes. The erasure of blackness is sitting right before our eyes. And um, I'm not really... I don't know. I don't understand since when like we just got so passive with things. But then again, it is in our nature as black people to be very welcoming to others. We're not necessarily xenophobic at all. For the most part, it's not in our nature. Like we naturally, if you do your research and you look back on the type of people that we were, even in the books that books about our history that was written about us by random people even they would say it like we were never people that were very scornful of others like we were more so very curious and we were also very welcoming so now tying that into the whole um hip-hop culture <sighs> once again dragging y'all fave i'm sorry <laughs> again like i said in my grammys video y'all streamed cardi b's music to the point where she was able to win best hip-hop album of 2018 right i'm not gonna take away from her work ethic i'm not gonna take away from anything that she needs to do well no i'm gonna take away from the fact that you have to drug people to get there but allegedly allegedly you know her being that she was pregnant performing this and the third, i'm not taking away from none of that because at the end of the day she's still a human being she still is a woman this then the third but i'm gonna put some clips up in this video while i'm doing my makeup and um so i'm gonna be over here doing my makeup and then these clips are going to be playing on this side of individuals that are infiltrating the hip-hop culture taking hip-hop culture for a joke and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna tie it into something else that i've seen okay okay so just watch these videos and i'm gonna come back and make my point all right i like it I like to make money. I don't really give a fuck about being lyrical. I don't give a fuck about this and that. If that shit don't work for me, I don't care. I like to make shit that's gonna make me fucking money. I like to make shit that's gonna climb me off the, on the charts. Like, that's what I want. I wanna be up top of the charts. I wanna make money. I don't care about none of that shit. I know so many lyrical people. New York is the home of people that knows how to fucking crazy rap. There's the home of battle rapping. Y'all niggas is not listening to that shit that much in the club. So what's the problem with that? And I and I love to listen to people. I love to listen to people that like spits. I don't be saying any y'all anyway. I don't like performing. I don't like rapping. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I did this shit for money. I got money now. I ain't got no excuse to do this shit no more. You hear me? You bitch ass niggas capping. I was really trying to figure it out. I was Did you ever like write though, like poetry or anything nothing. that nothing associated nothing with? Nothing at all. Not even. What the hell made you wake up? I don't even like music. I don't really? care about don't that. Say <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. I don't. <laughs> where, 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 keep all of that. <laughs> no, keep no. All. <laughs> Y'all remember when I said this? Because pure foolishness. Let's not try to erase what black people have brought to this world. Let's not do that. I'm pretty sure y'all see what's going on. Y'all y'all knew who to cho choose for a best rap album of the year. Okay. Okay, let's just shit on Nipsey. But okay. Um. <clears throat> right. So the Grammys came and left, right? Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. We lost him recently. And it really sucks that, you know, visionaries and people that were doing good for the community, doing good for black people, are literally being depleted right now because the agenda is to cancel out all indigenous blackness or 100% blackness. So, you know... It really does suck that somebody that was literally doing things and ran by the motto for us, by us, <laughs> you know, literally was on some, I'm buying back my block, I'm buying back my community, I'm employing people that look like me, I'm only for the betterment of my people, had to be 
murdered like that but i digress going back to the whole hip-hop thing we have these people that are entering the culture right either portraying themselves to be what our white counterparts think is what being black means you know we got the gang culture drug culture we stripper culture we ratchet culture we have all of these people in the industry that do not look like us except for one that i showed in that clip but we have a lot of these people that do not look like us telling us or portraying what we are to other people that don't look like us what we are like the actual people that live in blackness every single day that live in this culture every single day that live this lifestyle every single day we have these people coming into the hip-hop culture and disrespecting every single thing that our forefathers and foremothers have done for us in this genre of music hip-hop is poetic hip-hop is melodic hip-hop is our life hip-hop is what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis and we express that through poetry with beats added onto it you feel me like black people are music we are we we are it and then we have these plants that's in the industry that's literally going to come in here and say they don't care about music. They don't care about the music. They don't care about the talent. They don't care about the art. They don't care about it. All they care about is making the money. But this is y'all fave though. Like these are y'all faves, right? These are the people that are able to come and make money off of our backs. Yes, we could drag the Kardashians all day, every day. We could drag them. It is what it is this is what you guys like this is literally what like i'm gonna just use cardi b right now i'm so sorry about it but she literally just says she don't give a f about the art of being a lyricist she just wants to make her money so she won't say whatever she gotta say she won't talk about being say the most raunchiest things you know what i'm saying regardless if you don't plan to be somebody's role model you will be someone's role model because you are in the forefront you are in the limelight at all times she doesn't care about it but y'all nominated her for best hip-hop album of 2018 and y'all shitted on nipsey now he's gone y'all didn't give him the roses while he was here but somewhere or another now he's gone and now his music is charting at number one his streams is up there and i'm not mad at it because you know all these proceeds will go to his family we will go to his wife his kids anybody everyone who he left behind his community and i hope that they really keep up the momentum for him but y'all don't see nothing wrong with that nobody sees anything wrong with that 